You'll identify yourself for the record. State your name. You may proceed. I'm Gary Sullivan. I'm the legal director at the ACLU of Arkansas, and I'm also here on my on behalf. I want to congratulate Senator Stubblefield and Representative Bentley. But before I tell you why, I want to tell you a very short story since we're running out of time. Not too far from Little Rock, there was this, this young boy who realized he was an artist and he wanted to be a performer. And he was a little stage shy, but he finally got over that. And once he got on stage, he realized that that's what he wanted to be and that's what he wanted to do for life. And he started out wearing fairly conservative clothing, but soon he advanced to more, um, less conservative clothing. He certainly started exaggerating things. He, from the get-go, he wore eye makeup. He soon started teasing his hair. Over time, he teased that hair higher. He eventually started dyeing the hair. His, uh, he wore for performances loose-fitting outfits at first. They were brightly colored, so he had plunging necklines all the way down to his navel, very revealing. Soon he started shaking his legs and gyrating his hips. Young people talked about this, and more and more young people started finding his coming to his performances. And the parents were furious. The parents, had want, parents wanted to outlaw him. The parents got him arrested at least one time for lascivious conduct and lewd behavior. He wasn't swayed by that. He started wearing tighter clothing, more revealing clothing. And then, boy, did he start exaggerating things. He got gold rings on his fingers and thick gold necklaces, big diamonds on his fingers. And the more he exaggerated himself, the more he became known and people started coming. And there was no doubt that his performances um, were for the prurient interest of the audience because some people started taking off their underwear and throwing it up on the stage. And this went on and it grew and it grew. It was exaggerated, it was prurient, it was very sexual. The parents got madder and madder. But boy, they did not succeed. They tried so hard, but they couldn't do it. So my congratulations to Senator Stubblefield and Representative Bentley is, you finally done what parents couldn't do 60 years ago. You found a way to outlaw Elvis Presley. Now, unfortunately, Elvis Presley can't perform in Arkansas now, but Dolly Parton might, Elton John might, and this bill would prevent that. Thank you. I'll accept any questions. I see no questions. Thank you for your testimony.